You're guaranteed to fail chemistry if you don't know stoichiometry. This isn't optional. It's the foundation of almost every calculation you'll do. Mess this up and nothing else will make sense. Stoichiometry is just a fancy way of figuring out how much stuff reacts and how much you'll get. Think of it like a recipe. If you need two cups of flour for one cup of sugar, you can't just throw in random amounts and hope it works. Chemistry's the same, but instead of cups, we use moles. Before doing any math, you must balance the equation. Look here. Two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen to make two molecules of water. If you don't balance it first, every calculation you do is going to be wrong. Now look at the coefficients. This is your mole ratio. It tells you exactly how much of each substance reacts. So if you have two moles of hydrogen, you need one mole of oxygen. If you don't get this part right, everything else falls apart. Now, mole to mole conversions. If you have 10 moles of hydrogen, that means you need five moles of oxygen because you multiply by the ratio. But your teacher won't stop there. They'll ask you for grams. No problem. Just use molar mass. The molar mass of O2 is 32 grams per mole. So 5 moles of oxygen is 160 grams. Just multiply by molar mass to switch between grams and moles. This math is all about balancing, ratios, and conversions. Don't forget to follow STEM Tutor Peter for more.